is yet ready to go for the first feature event of the night, Wild and Wacky Wednesday. Once again, we're so glad you're here with us. They come off the turn. Craig Merriman turns the ponies loose, and we are underway with Taylor Walsh. Taylor Walsh getting the early lead. Right behind that car is the 56 of Sackowitz. Side by side, duel for a third. One for now on the inside by Magliano, but Magliano testing the back bumper of Sackworth trying to open up a position and flying through is the 57 of Corey Caddick. Caddick last week's winner on the move early in this event. Car getting out of shape and hitting the glass is the one of C.P. Burdick. At the front, Caddick barrels his way into the second spot. Trying to Xerix that move in his tire tracks is Big Mac Chuck McDonald. And right behind him is Swirling Dylan Cabral in the 19. Left out on the outside is the 56 X of Sackowitz. And also out there is Magliano. And he's going to fall prey to the 27 of Dave Gargaro. They roll their way off the corner and we'll have a new leader in turn number one. It's the 57 of Corey Caddick. Chuck McDonald now swoops in to try to grab second away, and he has Dylan Cody right behind him, trying to drop kick Walsh a little deeper in the field. The 27 of Gargaro has moved down low. Also working low is the 02 of Magliano as they go by Sackowitz in the 56X. Deeper in the pack, we have four cars dueling. That pack is led by Tim Burgess in the 11. Behind him is Jamie Ventura in the 58, the 42 of Chris Palomar, and the 67 bottle up is Wade Robbins. Pulling away at the front, five down, 20 to go, is Corey Caddick. Chuck McDonald roars into that second spot. McDonald's really had an off year, a former champion in this division. Right now, finds himself under siege on the outside by Dylan Cabral. The 19, trying to grab the spot away, and he will clear Big Mac by the time they hit turn number one, moves into second. Also swinging the outside was Gargaro, but Thwarting that move was Chuck McDonald. Gargara still picking up the pace, working to the outside of McDonald as they bounce off turn number four and cross the line. Behind them, it is Ryan Magliano in fifth. Taylor Walsh has dropped all the way back to sixth. Chris Palomar is seventh. Greg Sackowitz eighth. Tim Burgess ninth. And Jamie Ventura rounding out the top ten as the field starts to sort itself out. We'll see what the difference is this time when they come by. Corey Caddick leads by a little under five tenths of a second over Dylan Cabral. And the fastest car on the track is Caddick touring the track. And we'll check the time again. And there's problems for the seven of Trask. And drop, he drops off the pace. And going up the track, rising up the asphalt to get a run was Corey Caddick as we had a change at the top. We didn't see Dylan Cabral grab that lead, and they are battling side by side, and soon they'll be closing in on a lap vehicle. They took the 31 of Tumolo down a lap. Caddick and Cabral. Caddick won last week. Cabral the first two weeks here at the bowl. They are side by side, dueling off the corner. And the best news for the cars behind him is that allows Gargaro in the 27 and McDonald in the 0-1 to crawl back into the picture because while they are not going as fast as they would be if they were separated in single file, they're just taking, breaking the air just enough for Gargaro now to really close in and he could be a player in the final 13 laps of this race. Last time by was Cabral with the lead. Caddick to the outside, as Caddick is on the inside, has the leverage, and we're going to hit the halfway point in this feature event. Now Gargaro gets to the back bumper of Caddick, and he's going to choose a lane, which one he feels is more going to move faster. Caddick on the inside, fighting as hard as he can, and they will go by, put the lap car of Keith McDonald down the lap if they are able to safely clear as the field comes off turn number four. Chuck McDonald runs in the fourth spot. Then in fifth, we have Chris Palomar. Sixth is Ryan Magliano. Seven is Taylor Walsh. Still dueling side by side, and we're down to the final 10. Corey Caddick to the inside. 
Dylan Cabral on the outside, and right there, ready to pounce if either makes a mistake, is the 27 of Dave Gargaro. Also closing into the picture is Chuck McDonald. Down into turn number three. Slight advantage belongs to Kanick, but able to power back and pull even is the 19 of Cabral. Problems down the backstretch for the double zero of Bannister as he comes to a halt on the grass. And we will see if he can chug his way into the infield. He is able to do so. So that means we are able to stay under green. Eight to go in this duel, which has gone on for about the last 15 to 16 laps between Caddick and Cabral. Who will wear who out right now? It is Caddick who has the lead. Looking to change tactics and maybe go to the inside was the 19 of Dylan Cabral, but he falls back in line as the top four, filtering their way down into turn one. Once again, they are going to come up upon some lap cars, which could play a factor in this feature event race. A tap to the back bumper by Gargero, administered the back bumper of Cabral, as they whirl their way off the corner, and they'll be closing in on another car. That is the 42, 47 on Spartan. And trouble from McDonald's, that car erupts in flames down the backstretch. So the zero one on fire down the backstretch. that have sat for a little bit. <laughs> Leading us back to green will be the 57 of Corey Caddick as we get ready to go underway. Green is out. Caddick pulls away. Cabral perhaps takes a little bit for that car to come up to speed. He has to worry about Gargaro down low to try to sneak, snooker that spot away, but it does look like Cabral has the 19 going again. Caddick, a half car length advantage as we're down to the final five. Then we have the zero to the, 40, the 42, sorry, of Chris Palomar and Sam Misik, who had to start deep in the field in the 37, making up our top five. The lap starting to click off the scoreboard, and Cabral not only has to worry about trying to get a run on Caddick for the lead, but he has to worry about Gargano, who's hanging out down low and may snatch that second spot away from Dylan Cabral. That allows Caddick to pull away just ever so slightly. Cabral trying to hold off the charge of Gargano down low, and he will clear the 27 and set his sights in the final two and a half laps of trying to track down our leader, Corey Caddick. They get the popsicle sticks this time by. Cabral closing in ever so tight to the back bumper. Caddick held it, holding him off. Is there an opening for Cabral to strike in the final lap and a half? Gargano has pulled away from the 42 of Palomar, who sits in the fourth spot. Final four turns, Corey Caddick looking to go back to back here at the speed ball. Roars off the corner and down the back stretch for the final time. If Cabral has anything to, left in the tank, he's gonna have to make it in the final turn. They come down to the line. The drag race down to the stripe is won by Corey Caddick. Dylan Cabral finishes in second. Dave Gargaro third. Chris Palomar is fourth. Sam Misick fifth. Ryan Magliano sixth. Taylor Walsh seventh. Jamie Ventura.
Corey, two weeks in a row, it looked like the 57 was hooked up, and you had a real battle in the late stages with Dylan Cabral. Oh, yeah, he, he definitely took everything out of me. 100% he took everything out of me. He was definitely the faster car. I had to do everything I could to keep him behind. Uh, congrats to Dave, putting my own car in the podium twice in a row. Uh, I got to thank Art Smith Oil, Ginger Motor Works, DNL Services, Alaska Buds. Uh, thank you, Johnny, Mom, Mima, Kelsey, Brad. Uh, the whole team, I, uh, Chris, Jordan, Olivia, Uncle Chuck, Talon. Yeah, so th thank you guys.